Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. And as with every piece of tools that we have that's electric like this, hearing protection, eye protection. So the nice thing about this saw is that it uh, not only cuts straight down like this at a very nice 90 degree angle, but it also can, by pushing this down, turn it and cut on an angle up to a 50 degree angle both ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate um, a, a couple of those different angles and I have a piece of 2 by 4 here and I'm just going to do the, the straight down cut first and what I'm going to do is use this handy attachment that they've got here that I can go like this, push it right down onto the project itself, tighten it up, it's up against this fence that's here and I'm going to tighten this down so now this doesn't move. There we go. Now watch this. It's going to get loud. Very nice cut, nice and straight. All right, let's loosen this up. Let's push it in just a little bit more. We'll clamp this down. And let's cut a 30 degree angle. Now the nice thing is, is this lever right here, you have to push this down in order to move it. And once you get to your destination, it locks into place. So it's not moving left and right. This handle, now I can go like this and tighten it up. And it makes sure that it's not gonna move. I keep it loose just a little bit so I have a little bit more control over it. Watch this, 30 degree angle. Very nice, very nice. I like that a lot. Let's loosen this up. And let's do that very popular 45 degree angle. Five degrees very nice now the nice thing is not only does this cut it over on this side but I can also cut the same angles on this side now the other thing that's nice about this is on the rear side of this is this handle right here and by turning this like this, I can make the saw turn and we can cut on angles this way. Not this way as well, not this way, just one way. But it's still nice to be able to turn on a 45, up to a 45 degree angle. And then you just take this handle and tighten it back down again. And we're back at a 90 degree angle.
So cutting with a miter saw is a very, very handy thing to have around. Uh, it's very versatile. Uh, it's very quick. It's very easy. I don't have to pull out my hand circular saw and try to fight with anything as far as a 90 degree angle. I put the wood onto the saw. I lower the blade. It cuts it. It does a nice job. It's another nice tool that you can have for your, for your workbench, for your, uh, for your garage shop. I carry it with me in my truck so I can um, go mobile with it. Um, I use it actually quite often, so it's, it's a nice tool to have. Would I recommend this? Sure. This particular model ran me about, and I bought it on sale. I bought it for $99 on sale. Now, normally it was, I think, $149. But I got it for 99 and it was right around Christmas time. So that worked out pretty well. Um, a lot of your good sales are going to be right around, right around some sort of a holiday throughout the year. So you might want to check on that. Um, this one is perfect for me. They have kinds with stands on them. I don't need a stand. I put it right on my mobile workbench and I'm fine and I'm ready to go. Another good tool that for you to have. Now this is a Hitachi and I got it over at Lowe's. Um, for me, it didn't really make it too much of a difference for what kind of a saw that I was going to be used because, quite honestly, I just needed to cut. Um, I would prefer a rigid, I would prefer a DeWalt, um, but I got the Hitachi, and quite honestly, it hasn't let me down. So I'm very pleased with it. I'm, I'm okay with this one. If you would, please, please, there's some sort of a button around here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but if you would, it's a red thingy. And if you would push that, that'd be great. And thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.